Uh, Jack Blackburn says, I was fortunate enough to see Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy at a screening last Sunday. I was blown away by it. The most impressive thing about the film, and it has many impressive things, was the sheer level of precision in the storytelling. Uh, Thomas Alfredson delivers... I'm saying Thomas. Yeah, I know. I noticed Gary. it after that, because after he, I said Thomas, and he, he said Thomas so, very specifically. So Delivers know. cuts, sound effects, and subtle directorial touches with military precision. The result is a thriller even though Tomas doesn't think it is, which is utterly gripping and which also boasts an amazing cast delivering performances to match and superb pieces of work from every department of the crew. An absolute must-see and deserves to be a hit. Uh, and one hopes that if it is, more Le Carre adaptations will follow. I have a question for everyone who goes to see this film, cause, okay. and as I'm going to go and see it again... The question is, what's going on? No, no, no. Well, absolutely. Well, I, I'm sure in, the, in those nuanced eyebrows and all that kind of stuff, you will pick up a whole lot more on, yes. uh, uh, on second showing. It's set in 1973, and yeah. there are there's some mud uh, mm-hmm. at the at the Christmas party, yeah. and there's mud band as opposed to yeah, and Hurricane Smith, don't let it die, and yeah. so on. But there is a sequence which involves Mr. Wu's a window cleaner, cleaner now by George oh, Formby being on the radio, yeah. and I just don't know why it's George Formby. Is it a radio? Is it the record that it's? Is it, is no, it I think the radio because everyone's listening, and there's everyone's listening to this it's in the background. Yeah, she's transcribing the phone call. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't think Tony Blackburn was. But it may be uh, our uh, sense going of that humor. far back. In oh, well, days. you know, children's favourites, or you know, that it may have been. Yeah. Anyway, if you have a theory, okay. once you've seen it, and let's know next week what your theory is. Why is it George Formby on the radio? Uh, an email from Martin Rosen, who I imagine is the car. Cartoonist Martin uh, Rosen, Hello. in which case, good afternoon. Simon and Mark, I haven't seen the film yet. This is uh, an explanation, a possible explanation as to why George Formby uh, takes, is being played over the radio, even though it's 1973. George Formby, says Martin, curiously enough, was one of the few British recipients of the Order of Lenin, who wasn't, so far as is known, a spy, <laughs> but his films were very popular in the Soviet Union during the war. So it might be a Tomas joke oh, okay, in the same fine. way there's, there's some graffiti that you see towards the end of the film which says the, the future, future is female fe- future is female, female. <laughs> yeah but it's not in 1973 yeah, yeah. Uh, on the soundtrack we mentioned this um, earlier it's got some 70s music Dynamite by Mud it's got Don't Let It Die Hurricane Smith it's got some Charlie Rich and bizarre, it has this bizarre, bizarre. It was a very exciting sequence but it's the music in the background and being played on the radio is George Formby's Mr Wu's A Window Cleaner, cleaner Now, now. Yeah, there's, there's sort of various theories Boyd Hilton in fact uh, Hello Boyd parish. Um, it underlines the idea that British social attitudes in the 70s hadn't moved on since the 30s. Yes, that's interesting. But the purpose of the music being played is not... Anyway. Well, no, no, what, what's wrong with that? You, you, what you're assuming, I think here's, what, here's what's key to it. You're assuming, as people often do, that a period drama must be full of things that came out that year. And yet, do you have a car that came out this year? When you get into your car, do you listen to records that came out this year? Yes, or, do, huge, my- or, or do you actually do what most people do, which is that you live with the detritus of the last 20 years of pop culture? The idea that in 1973 you are surrounded by the sound of 1973. I mean, in my well, house, well, we're surrounded the by the sound of 1949. No, you know, no. Here's the point from Thomas Elfridson, who is basically saying that he says uh, he, what he didn't want to do is to fill the 70s period piece with knowing references to the That's era. You Using the music of pre-war favourite George Formby uh, over that of contemporary icons David Bowie, Elton John. He says, quote, One big mistake a lot of filmmakers make when they do period is, let's say, we do a film set in 1985, everything is 1985, which is not true. No, exactly. There we go, there we go. Hang on. Don't interrupt No, but Thomas Alfredson is agreeing with me. 1985 is everything and backwards. I was looking for stuff that made you remember World War II, like a taste from that time and something that would reflect Smiley or Controls, played by John Hurt, younger age. It's just because I'm a music radio person. There is no way that a music radio station would have been playing George Formby. It just wouldn't, because it's, cause it's so pre-rock and roll. That in 73, they'd have been playing Slade. That's what... I understand the filmmakers are... But you're assuming he's listening to Radio 1. Well, because the other musical reference have been Dynamite and all that other stuff. Yes, but, but you're assuming that what's on at that... You're saying that George Formby would not have been on the radio at that period. That's patently not true. Anyway, it's just an interesting point. No, it is an interesting point, and I think that you've been thoroughly trounced in, in wondering why. So I think Thomas, no, Alfred, John, Thomas John, Alfredson's point is completely right. No, John, John Waters, uh, the late John Waters, who was one of uh, John yes. Peel's great, great, great producers, producers he, yeah. I mean, he, he would say that there, you know, there, was a, it's a cut, there is a cut-off point beyond which music radio would not normally have gone. Anyway, right, so you're saying the point, which Skiffle turns into rock and roll, at that point you can't have any of that stuff it does, previously. It does, I, just okay. found, I just found it distracting. Can I just However, say, it was can a, I just say, can I just say that when yes. I was a courting the good Mrs Dr Her indoors, I played a George Formby record for her. 
but we all know that you're very, very okay. weird. Thank you so much for listening. Are you going now? I am. You're going to have to do All Request Friday? Yeah, it's another one of my shows. Great. Why don't you play some George Formby, just so people can write in and complain about the anachronism of, oh, nobody would play George Formby on the radio in 2011. They wouldn't on a rock and roll show. Yeah, and you're so rock and they roll. They play Slade. <laughs> That's what 